Hi guys. Even if I'm specially mentioning the uh, Canon R5 in this video, uh, you can use this video as an instruction for shooting tethered with any camera. It's just that I heard some of my colleagues mentioning that they had some problems with with the new Canon R5 and R6 shooting tethered. But uh, so I'm going to address that specially. But if you're not sure what shooting tethered is, it is you shoot with your camera, boom, and it immediately shows up on your computer screen or, you know, on some monitor. But why would you want that? Well, some photographers, they, they don't, they don't want that. But when you're shooting something where, uh, where details count, uh, or or you have a customer that that and he wants to watch the shoot on a, on a screen and then give you an input or even just you know you want to fix the lighting or you have some details with the pose a big screen is going to offer you much better visual guidance than a small screen on the back of your camera or you know even um, not any screen at all but why would some photographers not want that well? For example, when they're shooting people and uh, the shooting people and uh, they're looking at the results on the uh, the screen or even a big big screen, they claim that uh, the connection they have with the subject they're shooting uh, by constantly looking at the results, they are breaking that connection. So and 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 you know. Uh, to be fair, I've seen this, for example, in, in high production uh, fashion shoots. I've seen photographers they, that they never look at the screen, but they still shoot tethered because they have an assistant that watches over and sees everything is okay. The light is okay. It's technically good. And then there are people that might not know how to shoot tethered or have never given it any thought and that's a shame because it's very easy and it's very helpful and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to use my Canon R5 because that's the camera I shoot with and I'm also going to mention why some people might have some problems with it. It's not a big thing but there is this one thing you well you need to know if you're shooting uh, with the R5 and on a Mac computer and uh, I'm gonna show you but first things first let's start this so let's hook this up what you need is you obviously need a camera you know and you need a computer a laptop you know or, or whatever the computer you have and you need a USB cable. I'm not going to tell you uh, what kind of USB cable because that depends on your computer and your camera. But uh, I'm just going to turn my camera on and uh, I'm using a PC now. I'm going to use my Mac later. Um, so I just need to find my uh, USB port that's here somewhere and uh, hook up my camera and turn it on and uh, then my EOS utility version 3 pops up and for some reason I believe that's the that's the uh, newest version of EOS utility but for some reason as you can see here it doesn't recognize my camera but I don't care. I'm not using EOS Utility. I'm using Lightroom. So uh, what I do is I open up Lightroom. I uh, I select the file and I go to Tethered Capture and start Tethered Capture. Okay. Uh, I give the capture uh, a name. Our five tethered test something and uh, I choose where I want to put it and uh, say okay then it should detect my camera and it does 
and then I can see here when I look at my uh, through my viewfinder I just start to shoot let's shoot uh, let's shoot the computer there we go and we wait and we'll see and there we have the first photo now you can also shoot from you can also view the live screen from from the uh, com, uh, computer by pressing the live button. So let's let's shoot the uh, setup. Boom, and we shoot. And there we go. It is just that simple. It's, there's really nothing to it. And the nice thing of you can have some automated. If you know Lightroom, you have to know Lightroom a little bit. You know, you can you can have some presets. You know, that uh, that gives some edit to the uh, the photo. You know, when you shoot it, so you have a client or something. And the the, the nicest thing about this is, for example, when I have like a like a family shot or uh, something, somebody in my studio, and uh, what I do is like I uh, I shoot tethered. And then we select the photos, the, the, the client selects the photo for me to edit before he leaves. That's, uh, you know, that is, that, that has saved me so much time because if I don't do that, what I do is like, I select everything which is okay, you know, and then I uh, make a small adjustment to it. I put it on a web folder and I ask my client to pick what he likes best. And then he sends me back the result, then I edit it, and then I sent him the uh, full edited uh, photos. When I do this, the client just, we shoot, he doesn't leave the studio until he's happy with the results, and also, he already selected his best photos. So, it is, a huge time server it's so convenient and if you never tried it you should okay so like i said you just shoot and uh, depending on the speed of your camera and uh, the usb cable and uh, you know it, it it's it takes it takes a few seconds to go from the camera to uh, to the computer but there's really nothing to this and when i finish when I finish this, I just go here and uh, do Tethered Capture and Stop Tethered Capture. That's it. It's just that simple. But I told you I was going to do it. I'm not going to do it in the Mac. I'm just going to tell you what the problem is. When I shoot with my R5 to my Mac, uh, it does everything it's supposed to do. It detects the camera in Lightroom, and after that, it just hangs. You know, it, it, it the the color wheel of wonder turns, and it just hangs. There was absolutely nothing I found out I could do to deal with this except remove the memory card from the camera. If I remove the memory card from the camera, it had no problem shooting in the Mac. So why? I don't know, I guess some software issue. Maybe it's just because my Mac is pretty old. Well, my PC is pretty old also, but my Mac is old and uh, and uh, maybe there's some update. I have the reasonably new uh, operating system. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't think it's that. It could be just some uh, bug that uh, a future update will fix. But the workaround is remove the memory card. The thing is, I kind of like to have my photos on my memory card and on the computer, and so it doesn't concern me really because I do use my PC laptop when I shoot Tethered, but if I would change to a Mac, a new laptop, would the problem follow me? I don't know, just like, if this happens to you, that uh, after, uh, uh, the computer uh, detects the camera in Lightroom and it just hangs there. 
remove the memory card and you should be golden. So now you should know how to shoot tethered. As you can see, it's uh, fairly simple. Uh, you don't need anything except for this uh, one cable uh, and of course, well, a computer and a camera. But that's, that's given. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment. That will, that will help me. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.